Whoa. A Nintendo Switch game? I wonder what it's gonna be. Uh, I think I'm speaking English, so I'm gonna play in English. Uh... Yeah, let's be her. Oh, what should we name her? Uh... She looks like a... She looks like a Diane. Yeah, yeah Diane. Di Diane's her name. Diane. Yep, Diane. Let's go with that. She's a Diane. Should I do Diana? Oh no, I gotta go back now. Nah. Wow, I'm so hyped to be doing this. I'm actually so excited for this. Oh, welcome one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Thank you so much. Our beloved gallery is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon with which we share our lives. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Look at that boy! Thanks to help from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us. In the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon to do battle and compete. We call Pokemon Trainers! Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose. It is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Gal Region's greatest Pokemon Trainer, your undefeated champion! It's time for Champion Leon's Excavation Match! Boo boo bow bow! Oh, look at this boy! Look at this boy! He looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing the sign. You don't believe me? Well, I am. It's a bit or not, Leon. You don't know how I lose battles, Raihan. Charizard, Dynamax. Oh my god. It's Godzilla. Everyone run for your lives. Welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Sword. I'm Flaming Kong, and this should be fun. Uh, spoilers, I have already played through Pokemon Shield, but I also have the second game, so I didn't have to restart. It's pretty cool, right? Um, so yeah, I've, I've played through this game already, but I've played through Pokemon Shield, not Pokemon Sword. This game just came out. Um, as the time of I'm recording this, the time that it is uploaded, it's probably been out for a few months. But that's alright. That is fine. That's not a big deal. Hello, hello. Oh, that your flash new phone, Diane? Whoa! Are you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer him on with your hands full. You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with his famous Charizard pose. Hop, didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Diane. Never mind, watching the match now. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Come on, come with me, Diane. You should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run, see you at mine later. Um, fair warning, there's a lot of British slang in this game, which I kind of like, but you might not be able to understand it right away. Anyway, I played as the boy in my shield playthrough, so I'm like, you know what, I'll play as the girl. Like, why not, you know? Like, might as well. Yeah, he did say I should grab my bag. Alright, here it is. A uh, fun little fact, your Switch in your room will have the color Joy-Cons that you currently have associated with your Switch. 
So I'm playing with my purple and orange Joy-Cons. So it shows them on the Switch. It looks pretty cool. Alright, we don't give a damn about the damn rules. Alright. We're going to options real quick. Um, we are going to be giving nicknames. I don't need gyroscope. Uh, I'll save definitely off. Casual controls. Uh, uh, okay, that's all good. Um, if you're playing, I believe... I believe it depends on which character you pick, but if you pick the boy, I think you have an Eevee poster, a Pikachu tail, and a Pikachu plush. I think that's how that works. It might be game-wise, but I don't think it is. I don't remember. Um... I'm playing Sword because I want to experience a slightly different game. Because it is actually slightly different. The gyms are different, and I have not played those gyms. Um, the, the style of the gyms are the same, but the type of the gym is different. So it'll be a kind of different experience, but at the same time, it'll still stay very close to what I already know. And I've only played through the game once, by the way. I just want to let you all know that. So it's not like I'm an expert in this game. But I am kind of, I would say, a Pokemon expert. I know a lot of the Pokemon. I also know, um, I've been thinking about it, which starter I want to pick, because Scorbunny is my favorite of the three, okay? But the problem is, I already used Scorbunny in my first playthrough, so I kind of am like, do I really want to use him again? That's sort of my dilemma, because he is definitely my favorite. I've used all three of them because I traded all three of them into my game, but at the same time... The one I like the most definitely is Score Bunny. Also, this is just stupid. There's a Wooloo bumping into the fence. <laughs> I've also even debated not even using my starter. Because I've never done that before, and I feel like it'd make it more interesting. I'd have a more interesting team, I think. I might actually be doing that. I don't know yet. We'll see. I've also debated just wonder trading my starter away and see what the hell I get, and then I'll, that will be my new starter. That would be kind of funny. It's not as funny because I already mentioned it, but... Oh yeah, Wooloo are the blockade in this game. Well, for now. There will be a different blockade <laughs> later on for the majority of the game. They have a specific group in mind that is, serves solely to just block things. And it's probably not what you expect. Mum, is he here? There you are at last hop. Oh, and you've brought along Diane. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? It's done a year for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station at Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yes, that probably is for the best. Yeah, come with, Diane. You still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you out on the route. But I don't have Pokemon. Oh yeah, they have a pet purloin. You can go explore their rooms and stuff, but there's not anything for you to get, so it's like... Why the heck would you? Let's get a move on. Only remember, Diane. This is Hop's theme on the overworld. It's... The music in this game is actually very good. Some people have complained about it, and I'm like, who are you? Like, my Pokemon could come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of Telgrass. I've got my Lou with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Diane. So, we'll still so yeah, he already has a wild Pokemon, which is very different than most rivals. And yes, he is our main rival, sadly. Um, you will learn to hate Hop, just like I do. No one likes him. Not a single person likes Hop. And if you like Hop, then you probably are insane. Um, not so much right now, but later on you will definitely understand why everyone just doesn't like Hop. He is definitely the worst rival of the game. There's more than one, thank god. And here's Leon. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion Leon is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon! You and your Charizard are great! Well, thank you for that. 
I hope you all carry on training, up your Pokemon, and never shy from battle. Then come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it! We've been working out our battle skills just like you've taught us, Lee! I love you, Lee! You're my... you're my favorite! But that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true, that Charizard is blazingly strong. But other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all of the world. Grar. Yes, I agree, Charizard. Lee! Ha ha ha! So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since last time I saw you. Bingo, this is completely cringe and I'm not gonna read this. And these bright eyes over here. I've got it, you must be Diane, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion, and a massive Charizard fan too. So you're a normie? You're a normie? Come on, Lee, and you too, Diane. Bet I can beat you both back home. That hop always wanted to be the best, isn't he? Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't really give a damn. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. Always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Yes, pan to the sky. This is what I want. Come on, Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Diana and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then. The greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Okay. Take a good look, you two. The grass-type Pokemon, Grookey! The Fire-type Pokemon, Scarbunny! And the Water-type Pokemon, Sabo! They are adorable. They- this little scene is actually probably one of my favorite parts of the entire game. <laughs> the game's- no, uh, that's a joke, but it's still- I'd say it's the best cutscene of the game, for sure. No doubt. But it's definitely not the best part of the game. <laughs> Aw. Poor Sabo. Aw. Alright, line up everyone. Which will you choose? Alright. So... I've been thinking about it, and I think I'm gonna go with Sable. He's a good boy. He's a good lad. Yeah. Yes, I would love to nickname Sable. What should we nickname him? Uh. 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 His name's George. He's a George. George the Sobble has joined our party. Hopefully this is a male. If it's a male, we're gonna have to rename it. Or a female, we're gonna have to rename it. So it'll be solved for you. Nice one. I don't even know if we're gonna use George. But we'll see, okay? Yeah, you can have Score Bunny Hop. Be the normie. Just kidding. But fire types, <laughs> I always like to make a joke that fire types are the normie Pokemon. Also, I'm I don't know if I'll be reading all the text or not. As you can already see, I'm like not wanting to read all of it. the The story in this game is absolutely stupid, and it you don't need to know any of the story in order to play this game. So yeah, you really don't have to to read any of this 
at all, ever. Aw, oh, poor Grookey. I also, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to pick Grookey because of the three, I think the final evolution, Grookey's just is by far the worst. It looks dumb to me. I don't know. Its name is also stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if you get upset by that. But yeah, Score Bunny is by far my favorite. The fact that Hop gets him pisses me off. The champion has this, the grass type starter. Spend the whole night with the new partner of yours, right, Hop? Understanding one another, maybe even build up a bit of love? Of course I have. What? The ants made fast friends with her Sobble, too. No, it's not Sobble, it's George. Shoutouts to Lucario Knight. What are you looking at her for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. I didn't even think about that when I named it, but yeah. Anyway. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling? <laughs> I'll be the judge. Idiot. Alright. Yes, let's battle him. Alright. The one redeeming thing about Hop is he has a good he has a good battle theme. And he actually has two Pokemon. Pokemon Battle is in! I've got two partners with me. That's one of my favorite new additions, is they have voices during the battle. It's really cool. Pound him. Get wrecked, dude. Oh yeah, I will not be grinding in these videos. I will be grinding off screen if I need to. I don't think I will need to, though. I, I highly doubt I will need to grind. We will be doing some wild Pokemon battles, but I will not be, like, doing them over and over again. So yeah, Sobble is a special attacker, and they purposely make it so that you are going to be able to learn your type move when you fight that Wooloo. So that if you already know type advantages, you can use this, and Hop will point it out. He'll be like, do you already know about type advantages? What the hell, dude? You like, you just played this game for the first time. How do you already know that? Well, you see, Hop, I'm not a complete idiot. Water beats fire. That makes sense. And Score Bunny's dead. Poor Score Bunny. I feel bad already. But we already have a level 7. George is... He's doing good. He's doing pretty good. Yes, Sobble is, a, is an absolute powerhouse. No, George is. Well, that was a, was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you Pokemon too. Yeah, they fought hard. You're right. They did. They fought very hard. Yep, good effort. Yep. Heal him. Be a rival? I can do that. I can be a rival to Hop. Sure. I regret it. Let me do the Pokemon Dips. You join the Pokemon Gym Challenge? You think you're ready for a single greatest competition in the Gal region? Not putting the carpet for the Rapid Ash there, little brother. That's really what you do. You two have to... Blah, blah, blah. Especially your friend Diane. You don't know shit. You need a Pokedex. Go get one. It's a collection of data. Oh, wow. Wow, that's so amazing. We get it. Pokedexes. All right, let's go get them. That's the enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'm gonna be the next champion. Tell your mom. Okay. Tom Diane, do you, you hear that just now? Oh my God. The gates open and the Willow was there. Oh no, Willow. 
Willow! I actually do think it did, because that would make a lot of sense. I don't know. Hop, you idiot. I don't want to go there. I want to... I have to go tell my mom. Fine. We'll go to the slumbering weld. Um, this place is interesting because, uh, well, the music here, first of all, reminds me of, uh, what does it remind, it reminds me of something, a specific game, but I can't think of what game it is. The music in this game is wonderful. I saw some discussion about the game where someone complained about the music not being good, and I'm like, who the hell even are you? Like, that is, of all the things to complain about, that is the one thing I do, I cannot even find an argument for. Like, the music in this game is absolutely wonderful. All of the battle themes, I guess the wild battle theme is kind of mediocre, it's not that amazing, but it's still good, it's still, like, pretty good, I would say. I don't see the problem with it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I still haven't decided yet, but I I might post-game decide to do a complete Pokedex. I don't know yet. I might, like, try streaming that or something. Maybe. We'll see how that goes, if I, how I'm feeling about that. Um, if you guys want to see that. I know while I'm playing through the game, I'm not going to be going for a complete Pokedex. I'll just catch the Pokemon that I feel like catching. Also, yeah, we just fought a Sklovet, and now we're fighting a Rukidi. Rukidi is the basic bird of this region. But think Pidgey, think, uh... Oh, Gentoo didn't have a bird, did it? Gentoo didn't have a beginning bird, did it? I'm trying to think. I can't think of one. I think they just had Pidgey in Gentoo. What the hell is that? I did hear a Pokemon crying out. Oh yeah, these wild Pokemon counters, I believe, are already generated. Like, you'll definitely run into these Pokemon. So, just sort of deal with it, I guess. <laughs> Wait, is George a, a male? I didn't look. Yeah, George is a male. Alright, that works. Um, George, you're, you're an interesting little boy. You're what? I don't, is he an iguana? A chameleon? I think he's a chameleon. Alright, George. We're almost there. What, Dan? That Wooloo might be in real trouble. I'm going, dude. You're the one that stopped me. Okay. Wow. This is, uh, not going anywhere, is it? This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Oh. Hello. Hello there, dog. One the? What's up? The yard. Hello, doggo. How are you? What? Level question mark? Are you missing no? Oh. But the move had no effect on it. What the? Let's keep attacking it because something will change. It's a shadow Pokemon. What? Did you use Haze? What a dumb move. Damn, I can't see anything. No, I can. I can I can see. It's just a little bit more difficult to see, but I can still see. Move had no effect? I'm so surprised. I can still see it. Very light, but I can still see it. I can't see anything. Idiot hop, I can see it.
it fled. I think. Maybe. What the heck's going on here? Blazers. Hop, Diane. Well, Lee, how do you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. <laughs> That's nice to hear from little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you, and you never showed. Of course, I came looking for both of you. Oh, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. Charizard did it. Meh! The little chap's just fine. You know this place is out of bounds. But it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. At least we lose alright, right? Yeah, yeah. Attacked by some mad Pokemon. What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed low stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It just had a sort of sort of presence. Yeah, I, I think that fog made me kind of high. Now that I think about it, our moves didn't even touch it, dude. You must pass right through it. So if some Pokemon live in the slumber and weld, they're actually illusions or something? Get strong enough that maybe two can be ones revealed. <laughs> yeah, I can speak anything. I can't even say the word, so why do I bother? Earful. What an experience. <laughs> what an experience. Don't forget to tell your mom. I, I was trying to do that and then you stopped me. You idiot. I hate you. Uh, little spoiler, but two Badoo now instead of one. <gasps> also, we have a Munchlax. I just thought I'd point that out. Wah! Well, isn't Subber just a sweetheart? And yes, I've heard news from young Leon. I'm glad some bothered to tell me of the witches, aren't you? <laughs> I just completely even. Yes, give me money! Give me some money! Give me money! Wow! Look after Diane. All right. Let's go catch that bird and stop using George. Well, I I don't know. I want to catch a Pokemon though, at least one. Let's see what we can catch. We do have Pokeballs now. I think we have five. Quite a big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Trying to score bunny a bit. Route 1 is a joke, but it's at least not as much of a joke as it is in X and Y. So, there's it's got that going for it. Wow, the building with the, the Pokeball on it is the Pokeball, what, the research lab? That's insane. That's crazy. I cannot believe that. Rookity, 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 rookity. <laughs> <sighs> Go, George! What level are you? Rickety. Level 5? Female? Okay, I want you. What again? I saw female and I'm like, you know what? I can do that. I can do- I, I want a female Pokemon on my team. Females are always stronger. And that's statistically proven. Because Attract is more likely to fail if it's a female. No, I crit it! Really? I crit it. Okay, I should have just caught. I should have just throw a Pokeball. I would have been able to catch it. Alright, now I'm upset. I learned Bind. Wow, Bind. That's amazing. I'm so glad I learned Bind. Bind is such an amazing move. If you're not female, I'm actually going to be so upset. I'm going to catch it regardless. You at- No, you're level 3. I'm not even- I'm not even fighting you. Run. I'm not even fighting this. I'm not even bothering. If you're not even higher than level 5, you, you you don't have my respect. Alright, Rickety. Rickety, Rickety, Rickety. <laughs> That's always what I think of when I say his name. Oh, <laughs> uh, really? Alright. Idiot. I don't wanna- I don't- I don't wanna catch this. I really don't. I really don't. I do want Rickety though, he's kinda cutie. 
We're kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna name it Liberty. You know that, right? I'm naming it Liberty. Oh my god. I'm just- I- I need a female rookity. I don't care what level it is. I cannot believe I crit that. That was so annoying. I'm pit- I'm actually upset. Well, that's a level 6. Alright, you know what? Fine, whatever. You really- you want me to have a male rookity so badly? Fine, be that way. I don't really care that much about the gender of a Pokemon. Alright, let's just catch it. I don't think- I think that should be enough. Like, really. Alright, we got our first Pokemon caught. Rickety. Now, what should we name Rickety? Because we can't name it Liberty. Liberty's a female name. Alright. Birds of a feather flock together. Um, what's a bird? Um, blathers. Blathers. I know Blathers is an owl, guys. I'm aware. Okay. Alright, what? No, you dumbass school vet. I want to see what's in that grass. I just wanted to see what it was. Okay. Oh. School vet. You'll be good experience for my new uh, blathers. Blathers is still a bird, and I like Animal Crossing, so leave me alone, okay? Wow, level six and a level nine. What are the chances? <laughs> Let's keep going. Charter's just chilling with that little girl. Hey, Leon. I caught a Pokemon. I did. You suck. You literally suck, okay? Yep, in we go. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. Grar. Says Charizard. <laughs> Does Charizard come in? No. Everything looks so fascinating. Bowark. Oh look, it's the electric type Pokemon that everyone loves. Yamper. Yamper, Yamper. I'm a normie Pokemon, everyone likes this one. I need to stop saying normie. It's gonna get old. It's already old. Yamper's a cutie pie. He's a corgi. How could you not like him? At least he's on normal type, dog. Like, at least he's not the next Lollipop. Oh, yeah. What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we're rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did, too. I love this song. It reminds me of Your Turn to Die. Um, anyway, I, I love Sonya's scene. She's a new Pokemon trainer, set her on the right path, would you? It reminds me of Your Turn to Die. If you've played Your Turn to Die, which it's a free game online, I understand it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it is a visual novel. It is very good in my opinion. It's like a point and click. Anyway. This song reminds me of that. The first time I ever, ever heard it, I was like, this sounds like a song from Your Turn to Die. Even though that is sort of like a, a fan game, I don't think anyone, I don't think he makes any money off of it. Anyway, the point is, that's what it reminded me of, and I thought I'd let you know. Do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet I do. Well said. In that case, you get this Pokedex. What if I didn't know about Pokemon? Were you not going to give me it? <laughs> let Grand know. She lives down house along Route 2. Alright, so we gotta go down Route 2. That sounds like a plan. They're trying to start to stop you.
Alright. Thank you. Knowledge is power. <laughs> okay. If you say so. I do want to say, I'm going to try not to use any Pokemon I used in my first playthrough, and I'll let you know when we come across them, what those are. So. Yeah, there's Pokemon I really like that I won't be using. There's specifically one that is my favorite Pokemon in this game. But, well, I should say in this, of the new Pokemon. It's my favorite one. But I used it in my first playthrough, so I'm going to avoid using it. I want to try a new thing. Um, uh, no. You might want to buy some potions. You suck at this game. Get potions so you don't die, you idiot. Alright, bitch. You wanna go? You wanna go, dude? Just heal our Pokemon. Georgian Blathers. Alright. First things first. Blathers. No. You're now the main man. You're the main man of the... Oh. We can also do this. We can get a... Interesting Pokemon, I would say. Let's go! Let's go! Thank you. Thank you. Give me that. Give me that meow. Thank you very much. Look at me. Meow. Meow. Wow. I got a meow, guys. I got meow. I got a meow. Alright. Uh, what level is meow? Level 5. You suck. We're gonna put Meowth in the PC. I don't want to use Meowth. Well, I don't want to use this for my Meowth, at least. You'll know what I mean. Um, anyway, I think this is a good stopping point. Next time? Okay, we'll talk to Hop first. Stan, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge. The gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate? The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to become champion. But the trick is that you'd be endorsed if you have to take part. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Professor could help. You've got to take part too. Proper rival is just a thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger. You're going to be my rival. Yes, train up your team along the way. I will do that. I will definitely, definitely not do that actually i'm gonna grab this so oh wait i almost forgot to do something ah. Ah. most of these houses i couldn't care less about i think this guy sells you berries but i don't care there's this no that's not what i was going back for but i just remember that was there there's a boutique and uh there's different things we can buy Can't really see the shirt with our damn thing on. I mean... Whoa, the girls have way better options than the guys! What the heck? Okay. Um, how about next- Next episode, I will come back with a snazzy new outfit for us to wear. Alright? See you then.